Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee and this week I'm going to show you how to perfectly and safely remove your soak off gel enhancements. My nails are due a rebalance at the moment so I'm going to use this opportunity to change brands of gel just to give another one a go because I like to try all new products. I've got a few breaks and some paint on my fingers here from decorating so I figured it's a good time. I'm going to be using my Sayen K38 cordless nail drill or e-file, I love this one, with my safety bit which you can see is incredibly safe. I'm just going to start, I have this on quite a low setting, I don't have it too high very light touch over the top and I'm using a balance point precisioning which is what you do with your little finger and it helps you so you can control your strokes a little more. I will put full links to all of the products down in the description down below. For me I start by going around the cuticle area and down the side walls and then I start to remove that bulk as you can see here. Now when we say bulk we mean the build up or the amount of product that's on the nail. You'll normally notice that there's more in the center, which is the apex, and it's the strongest point. So always be very gentle and mindful of your natural nail underneath. You want to look after this as much as possible. It tends to be over filing that is the biggest cause of damage after removal of enhancements or gel polish. I keep looking down the center of the nail to see how the product buildup is and see where I need to concentrate on removing. And already you can see that's gone a lot thinner than it was before. Just to see the difference, you can start to see my free edge of my natural nail now showing through. And look at the difference. This is why I do love e-files. You can do this by hand, but it's so much easier with e-file. Using my NL5 brush, I like to use this to remove any excess dust or glitter from the nails. It's lovely and gentle and soft. Then I've got a pad soaked with pure acetone and my pro tip clips. I'll put links to these in the description as well. You make sure you've got your cotton pad fully soaked and wrapped around that nail and then pop it on and leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Remove and with an orange wood stick, start to see if you can get any of the gel off. How long you need to leave it all depends on the brand. Now it looks like I'm being quite forceful but I'm only doing it where there is product. Don't risk it if you're getting too close to your natural nail. When you've removed any soft product, then just put the clip back on with the acetone and leave it to soak a little longer. Work on the other nails while you're waiting for it to soak. You can see here we are almost through to the natural nails, so I'm going to see what else I can remove. Now this brand of gel is Premier Gel. I don't normally soak it off, I normally actually just rebalance it. But it is a soak off builder gel in a bottle. Here I'm using a plastic back pad soaked with pure acetone to rub any excess off. And then I'm going in with my amber buffing block, which is just a very gentle 240 buffing block, just to take off any slight excess bits that are hanging over I'd rather do that, I find it's a bit more gentle than actually scraping too much till the end. I'm just going over that whole nail very lightly and then going to take a look. Again, brush off any excess dust so it lets you see what's going on and you can see that is my natural nail. Now I'm going in with my Precision Cuticle Hoof Stick and Curette. This is from my own range, Divine by Natasha Lee. And again, links for these are down in the description. This is a metal tool but used appropriately, it will not cause any damage. We are just working on getting that cuticle off. Now cuticle is dead skin, it's non-living tissue. So this is why it just sticks to the nail as it grows out and we need to remove it when we're applying products to stop them from lifting. You can see it's all nice and sort of white and fluffy and ew. But that is the non-living tissue, that's dead skin basically. You can do this as a wet mani as well, but just showing you this is me doing it as a dry. Now there we have a hangnail. We are going to clip those off and I'm doing that with my Divine by Natasha Lee cuticle nips before going in removing the excess dust. Now I'm taking my two Paz 240 240 wood core nail file. I like this one for refining the natural shape and going down the side walls and around the cuticle area to make sure you've got a really smooth finish on your nails. You can see the best way to file is on an angle of 45 degrees under the nail, especially when you want to have like an almond shape to the nail that stops you digging into the sides and keeps those lower arches. Cleanse over the nail and you can see they are done ready for application of either your new product or just to keep them nicely oiled and looked after. And that's the safest way to remove your soak off gel enhancements. I hope this has helped you. A big shout out and thank you to Natasha Lee VIPs, Laurel Andrews and Nicola Hare. And if you want to become a Natasha Lee VIP, then head on over to natashalee.vip.
In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button. If you want to check out any of my products, head on over to shop now. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to check out my other videos and I will see you all very, very soon.